Hey everyone, AI is taking over, so it's really important as a developer for your career that you know how to implement this and what is possible these days with AI. So I created this simple demo app which showcases the top four AI features that you probably have to implement at some point. So let's start with number four here, OCR, optical character recognition. So if you have an image with text in there, you may want to extract the text from that image. So let's say I have a photo of a menu. So I'm going to upload this photo. You can see it has some text in the photo and let's see if my app can extract the text from there so it's going to upload the photo and after some time you can see we get results here where it shows espresso piccolos and then we see some numbers here those are the prices so let me open up the menu photo in a new tab so we can double check if it succeeded and we can see espresso piccolo cappuccino latte and then these numbers the prices you can see that it has extracted the text from the image correctly right and now we can process this further right so we can actually do some analysis to see how much the cappuccino is in this place it's four dollars and we can compare that with other uh, cafes in that city let's say and it's actually a pretty old school feature it's been around for a long time but these days it's done with machine learning and that's what we call ai and to make all of this possible i'm using file stack here for this upload widget which i really like nice design but then they also allow you to do all of these ai features so in the code i have this picker overlay i'm getting that from file stack right so this is the ui widget and you can configure that in many ways i have another video on my youtube channel about file stack so check that out if you want to get the technical details of how to set it up and then if you want to do OCR on an image for example here in a use effect I'm checking if some file has been uploaded and then if that's true I can make an API call to file stack and I can use the OCR option here with my image handle so the ID essentially and file stack will let me know what was in the image right so then I can set that as state here right so file stack makes it super easy to implement these AI features and they need to get the word out so that's why I'm sponsoring this video but let's quickly continue with number three here so number three is sentiment analysis and I'm using an image here as an example but also works with text so if you allow your users to create content maybe it's text or maybe they upload images you want to detect if it's a positive or negative type of sentiment in there maybe you're creating customer service software and you want to detect if the user is very angry or or happy or maybe your users are uploading images like here maybe on social media and you want to detect whether they're happy or not so i actually have some photos of myself here so this is a happy photo of myself so let's open this up and let's see if file stack can detect that i'm happy here so i'm going to click on upload here and it will upload this image and here I get the results so you can see it has happy 100% and 0% for all of the other emotions right now I also have another photo let's see if I can find another one yeah so I made these photos because I needed some photos for the YouTube thumbnails and so you need to do some funny faces that's what it takes to succeed on YouTube these days so this was my attempt at a confused face so let me see if the image sentiment can detect that as well all right so now what I get is confused 94 and a half percent and some small percentages for the other emotions as well even a little bit for angry but but this is what you can use if you need to detect what the sentiment is of the text or images that your users are uploading or creating right and just to show you how i implemented that it's the same as before you have the file stack base url and you have the id of the image that was uploaded you get that from the upload widget here and then you can use image sentiment it's just one api call and you get all of those results all right number two image enhancement so if you allow your users to upload images what you'll quickly see is that they're going to upload a lot of low quality images the images are going to be too dark too grainy and you want to have have a nice quick way of upgrading the quality perhaps so for example let's say i have some low quality photo here or it's just very dark let's say let me make it a little bit smaller here so it's very dark here as you can see a photo of some city i'm gonna upload this so very dark quite grainy actually and let me see what file stack can do with this so i just uploaded this image and you can see file stack has made it a bit brighter essentially and yeah i think it looks a little bit better it's a bit clearer what's going on in the photo so this image enhancement feature is really powerful actually they also allow you to upscale images so for example if, you, if your users are uploading relatively small images or below a certain threshold you can automatically upscale it now typically that would cost very blurry photos low quality photos because you're scaling up the image essentially creating more pixels than it originally had however with ai these days ai can fill in those additional pixels very nicely to implement that with file stack you have the file stack base url right and then you need to use the id of the image or the handle and then you can use enhance and they actually have some presets auto will automatically detect some issues with the image and uh, fix that all right number one facial detection so if you allow your users to upload images maybe they upload an image of a group of people let's say and if you're facebook or you're creating some kind of social media app you want to detect the people in that photo so you can automatically tag those other people in the photo as well let's say or maybe you want to automatically blur faces right so you need to be able to detect faces in an image so let me actually use those photos that i had from before but just a little bit bigger so it's not my face in the center there are some other things going on as well so here i 
have that uh, photo. I'm gonna upload this and let's see if it can properly detect the face in here. All right, so I have just uploaded this. Let me make it smaller here. And you can see here, I'm getting now a result here. And FileStack will actually draw this rectangular shape around the face. Now, FileStack will also give you the coordinates in the image of where the face is. So you can process that further. Uh, but I think that's pretty cool as well. And there's lots of uh, applications with this as well. All right, so the only thing I have to do in code is just take the FileStack base URL, provide the ID, and then I just have to use detect faces as the image transformation here to give me that result, All right? Super easy to implement. So check out FileStack. They have all sorts of powerful features, not just the four that I showed you here. They have what they call the intelligence system here that does a lot of things, pretty much anything that you can think of that you may want to do with your images or text or other documents. And I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Bye.